Hallo, naar de heer. Oh, welkom back to Path of Exile. Playing in the full of Oriaf, a beta. As a Abyssal Cry Viper Strike Trickster. And we're gonna go for Malachi today. With a bit of luck. Afterwards, we're gonna go for the Ascent as well. In the next episode, new content. The last episode we kind of breezed through the uh, two boss fights prior to this, the kings in the dreams, Calm and Doresso. And this time we're just gonna pick up where we left off. I had a look at the gear that we picked up and found that we actually had a slight upgrade here, a uh, three link treasure claw that with a uh, essence applied to it. Do we need to uh, an upgrade for the old one? So our DPS listed here now is 1400. Of course this excludes all the uh, conditional damage increases that we get from Vile Toxins. For every single poison stack on an enemy we do 5% more damage. M uh, mind the word there, more. Up to a limit of 6. Still have a little bit of a, a gap for our lightning resistance. We are currently at 53%. The other two elemental resistances are maxed. Good thing is Malakai, I don't think he's really lightning based. Though we do have a, a little bit of an issue with Chevron. She, uh, she's almost purely lightning based. So we'll see how things go. Oh, gotta pick up all the currency things. And there's the exit. All we have to do is walk around. Lovely. Hmm. Just so many eyes all over the place. It's sometimes a little difficult to see what is foreground and what is background. So we now have a 100% uh, chance to poison again. I hit level 43 in my uh, warm up. So I picked the second 10% chance to poison node down on the tree here. So combined with the uh, two times 10% in the claw wheel at the shadow, that makes 40%. Viper Strike itself already provides us with 60%. So now we have 100% chance to poison again, and we have full use of Vile Toxins. So, we're doing alright. Of course, all the poison damage that we do, it adds on top of the normal damage that we do. So. I got a suspicion that Malachi is gonna fall over rather quickly. Though, of course, whenever you say, well, I think such and such fight is not gonna be too difficult, that's probably where, let me guess, Piety is gonna murder me. Usually, no, the ones you don't expect. We are currently still lacking a Cosmo damage taken setup. Simple reason for that is sockets. I still don't have uh, a full set of four sockets. I've got mostly four sockets, but there are still a couple of three links and even three socketed items that I have. And well, currency is rather precious this early on. So we're skipping it. Eventually we'll pick it up. Once we get a proper four link to drop. So that means we'll have to rely on not getting hit. And if that is not going to work out entirely, then we'll just have to uh, make do with life gain on hits and a life leech for our energy shield in order to uh, stay alive. And if that fails, well. They can always just go for the uh, Alpha Strike tactic. If you hit them before they can hit you, they're not going to hit you, so you don't need your health. Do you assassins offer a money back guarantee, Shadow? Okay. Let's just uh, 
啦啦啦，啦啦啦啦啦，啦啦啦啦啦。拜拜。哎。Well done, assassin. Another satisfied customer. That felt slightly one-sided. The, I must admit, I think it was the the wild striker that got completely caught off guard by piety. Ever since I I do anticipate the fight as being potentially dangerous, and every time I'm relieved when it's not. That sounds even stranger when I say it out loud. Now, simple thing. Just gonna move over, get some organs. Oh, you, please die. Come on, excellent. So, I'm gonna grab some organs, kill ourselves on my uh, Malachi, and after that, we are gonna wrap up Act Four. Oh, not the self. Move forward, tag waypoint. Chat with Piety. I don't think you technically need to chat with Piety, but tagging the waypoint is useful. Allows you to teleport back through town after defeating the first of the bosses. But yeah, I definitely enjoy just how nimble this character is. I think the Slayer was already pr doing pretty well, but this one is just uh, a whole class of its own. And of course, Chevron of Umbra is the first. Such lovely material. Slice away the ugly. Oh, that's uh, lightning thorns. Something I did not always realize, but it it kind of rips. It kind of hurts. But yeah, okay. We're now the Umbra Slayer. For someone so obsessed with looks. That wasn't a pretty death. Oh, uh, Hit stash, deposit items, move forward. And then I take the waypoint instead of the portal, because I keep making the mistake of using the portal. So, one organ deposited, two more to go. And the road leads via the upside. So I think we did manage to get a couple of poison charges on top of that mob. The, on top of the rare from the things that were around it. But we're not really boosting our poison damage all that much just yet. So well, it's, a, it's a modest bonus but definitely needs more improvement. Right now for the build the thing we have been scaling the most has been our claw damage. Due to the simple fact of... Picking up the claw wheel on the on the skill tree. Now this is a de an a aggressive upgrade. This is some poison chance, and for the rest, it's all been just health and a little bit of damage over time. But uh, fatal toxins is going to be pretty darn <coughs> useful next level. I suspect it's going to kick in after Malachi, not before. Okay, let's just keep our step knight up here, and he's gone. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Okay, you're crawling out of the sides. That's okay. I'm gonna keep the uh, skeleton totem for the final fight with Malachi. I seem to remember the third stage being particularly interesting, where things get hectic. So if you can plop down a, a Val Summon Skeleton Totem there, just to get a couple more decoys out. And also as basically just Minesweepers, because minions are great for blowing up mines, so you don't have to. Alternatively, of course, we have a... A totem, a wither totem, that we can also use to explode mines with. But yeah, it's 11 and 19 mana. That that's actually something we can we can afford. So put that one there. We'll just uh, go away. 
I'm doing the completely not the correct thing here by standing in the middle, being affected by multiple of the auras, but yeah. Sometimes you just gotta do it to get through. Okay. Do stop mumbling. That's three. So once again, empty pockets. Okay, we've been collecting quite some scrolls here. And then the moment I have been waiting for, Mr. Malachi. Just have to make sure to keep my what's it called? My fortify up. Yes, exactly that. Luckily, we are very nimble. <laughs> I saw her die, and then the the oh no, wait, we need to actually kill Piety. Two times here, or hurt her multiple times, and have multiple stages in the thing thing kicked in. <laughs> but I saw her health drop down very, very low. Speaking of low health, my health is not in the most terrible, most great of states either. Uh, wait, aren't you that? Yeah, there you are. Okay. Uh, just for the sake of ease, let's fill up my flasks again and then I go down into the black heart itself. Let us see if you truly understand what it means to be nightmare. Okay. Now what? That's the first heart. That's boom boom. So far, <laughs> feels pretty good. Let's uh, stip night this. Okay, another heart. La 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 la. Okay, Ugh. something got cast on me. Ooh, yes, actually managed to trigger a fortify. I completely forgot about those things. And. Final heart, cause <laughs> dude, you're getting poisoned to death. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm standing in the middle of a degen thing that doesn't really help me sustain, but eh. Okay, <laughs> you portal back, then I portal on top of you, and then goodbye. Bye bye. Well. <laughs> That went considerably faster than I had expected. This might actually be a personal record. <laughs> and in all fairness, this is a level 40 area. So he's 42, I'm 43. So this is basically fair. <sighs> okay, and back in Highgate we are. Then just stash more items. And then the good thing is, we are only less than 14 minutes into the episode. So we have plenty of time to do the ascent. They... Which is located in the back here. So this is where the new content starts. So if you haven't seen any of the new content yet, I recommend that you watch my Slayer playthrough because that's where I focus on all the lore of Act 5 and Act 6. I will be playing through Act 5 and Act 6 at basically the same rate as I did. I might just smell the roses a little bit, but I'm not going to bother too much with lore and things like that. It's going to be Act 8 where I'll take my full time to appreciate the lore. But here I'm just going to go through basically as if it already existed previously. Because, well... It has. Blackguard Jaegers. Uh, 
Okay, this is a, a level 40 area. Some cold goats. Nice thing of a level 40 area is that some level 40 armors can drop from regular mobs. My uh, next tier of armor is actually a 40. Well, there's a nice 4 link level 40 evasion energy shield armor, then that's going to be a lovely little upgrade. Okay, that is Repost and a Viper Strike. Both got upgrades. Awesomeness. Ooh, Elemental Reflect. I do a little bit of elemental damage, but nothing really to write home about. So that's alright. I still have my Void Manipulation equipped. So I'm dealing less elemental damage anyway. But it's... It's... it's Little smidges of lightning damage. Okay, actually, let's do some uh, the abyssal cry. I most things die fast enough that it's not really worth it. Let's see, earthquake, blood rage, convocation, and some mirrored finger magics. So there was supposed to be a unique here somewhere. Wonder if we run into it. I think it might have actually been the, the guardian on the other side, so that's good. So these Wendigos are new. Oh yeah, that's something that I probably should pay a little bit more attention to is do all the new monsters actually have attacks and animations and things like that. Since so some of the mobs in the new content did feel a little unpolished or not done. So that would be lovely to see if if it got improved, and if so, what they do now. But yeah, no one of those things. If you actually you know, take your time to do the abyssal cry shouts and things like that, compared to just going in and just mowing things down, actually it slows you down a little bit. But yeah, as I said before, that. Probably due to just being slightly overpowered slash glass cannony compared to the content. Once I get to maps, Abyssal Cry is gonna shine a little bit more. Okay. I keep expecting one of the alphas to actually be a, a unique boss. And every time it's just a regular alpha. Ah, flicker striking Vendigos. Interesting. The spiders in Act 2 have a, uh, a tooltip below, or uh, one of those those lines below that say they use flicker strike. These vendicos don't. Ooh, a glacial hammer. supposed to be unique somewhere. Hello, unique. Are you here? Anyone? Oh yeah, on weapon switch I'm leveling up uh, multi-strike, not actively equipping it yet. Ah, there you are, the white death. Okay, so let's just war cry and then, okay, they died too soon. But again, you died rather quickly as well, so guess that makes us even. Right. And we need to level again before we can do that one. Right. So with that said, now we found the unique, that means we can look for the way forward. I wonder in what what part this area uh, has been the plan all along, or in in no what degree it is just 
fan service because I think people have been asking for a snowy area for years. I think back when we only had three acts, that's when people already asked for, for snowy areas and well, we didn't get it with Act 4. But now that uh, Act 5 through 10 have been added, we got a little bit of snow on the sides of the uh, mountain here. But now we're going to move over to Act 5, to Oriev. Yeah. Still think we, you need to enter just crouching in a Terminator pose. Also, there's a dude there who's making oh, off with the head kind of motions, but there's no sound. I think that's also a missed opportunity. They could have done something there. But that's it. We are now in Act 5. So this is where I'm going to leave you for now. Next episode, we're going to make a start on Act 5. And I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.